Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. I'm working on this 2004 Sequoia, 185,000 miles, doing valve cover gaskets because the passenger side was leaking enough to put the drops of oil on the exhaust manifold heat shield started burning making smoke and the owner felt it smelled it in the cabin but she also she also said the second concern she said well it's the smell but also the gas mileage it's kind of worse it's worse than before so I made sure that I explain it's winter, right? It's it's March, it's really cold, so I will expect the gas mileage will go down a little bit. However, I said, hey, I, when I will be working on the vehicle, I will also inspect related items to the gas mileage. What could lower her gas mileage? And sure enough, just for fun, I pulled one of the spar plugs. A little bit later, I will show you how the tips are burnt. All of them, it's a NGK. Anyway, you know, I don't like NGK. I love Denso. So it's NGK. It's correct one. It's the one which is correctly as an option. It's a Denso and NGK. It's one of those, so that's fine. However, when I look on the first one, and I will show it to you in just a sec, with different camera, the tips on the spark plug are actually really burnt. The gap is too big, and that could definitely affect negatively drivability and performance and the engine, therefore, a gas mileage. She said she was having before like a 14 miles per gallon in the town and now she's down to 12, 12 miles per gallon. So we will look at those and also we will discuss other items which could affect that too. And I promised you detail of that tip on that NGK spar plug. Let's put it against some usable background do you see how that how it's missing basically how it's burnt off mm. so there is that if i can say a hook the part which makes that quarter turn and the tip on the spark plug the back of it is basically missing it's sloping down the gap it's too wide and that was the clear indicator and reason that these spark plugs are way too old and it was definitely time to replace them you got it my friend definitely it will be a huge improvement for that engine and of course what goes back are dancers you know me i'm preaching it kind of but you know what Sure, I'm saying what I do. You, if you stick with NGKs, which are uh, prescribed for that engine by Toyota, sure, go for it. I love Denso, this is my company, and it comes originally, right, when it comes from the factory, it is equipped with the Densos. So, when I saw the gaps, and also the spar plugs were a little bit cheaper than the ones which I'm putting in. And I saw that, I'm like, yep. Since she brought it up as a concern, I will definitely do that. So I'm putting a new one in. I have the valve cover sergeant. I'm a little bit in the time pinch. Time flies, as you know. So, I would love to take time and walk with you around 
and talk forever. However, I need to finish the job, but I would love before the vehicle leaves, which is in like one hour only, I would love to show you also the other items which I inspected as I'm removing all these spark plugs. They were in the engine for a while. But another observation I have here is that they, I, I need almost no torque to loosen them. They right? are very loosely sitting in the engine. There weren't any problems with a, a misfires or anything. However, I will definitely torque them way better. Squish those crush washers and make sure there will be no possible blow by in the future. Here goes another one, yes. All of them, basically the tips are burnt off. It's the tip which is on the spar plug, not the hook, but it's the tip which is coming this way. The backs are burnt off. It's a perfectly visible across all eight spar plugs. So Peter, what else did you check? What could affect miles per gallons. Well, I started with looking on engine air filter in this air box and that looked almost brand new. I think the owners replaced it by themselves. You can see here as, as I mark the coils when I do the valve covers that's done ready for startup. So engine air filter will affect it. Here we have a mass air flow sensor as a MAF. I remove these two small screws with a small Phillips screwdriver and sure enough it was slightly dirty so I took the cleaning solution which is CRC mass air flow sensor cleaner and I performed the cleaning. I use this for the next item which I will show you right now. So, also the throttle body. I know I wrote it to them that in the future we should clean it. Well, today she was concerned about the miles per gallon, the economic driving. So I definitely performed the throttle body cleaning. Both these services are filmed on this channel so it will be absolutely pointless to film it again. I checked her automatic transmission fluid on the dipstick but that's a service I did perform for them and the fluid is bright beautiful red clean just gorgeous. This aftermarket battery terminal it was full of corrosion and oxidation that is for starting and in general you need a good contact for the engine and vehicle computer the ECM to run correctly all the electronics needs nice supply of the voltage if this will be in the bad shape who knows uh, the vehicle might not get good voltage so I check that and not only you check that I loosen it I clean it and apply that the red stuff you see that's a battery terminal protector. Oh, it's turning its back on you. Look at it, right? Napa battery terminal protector. So that was also done. I also sprayed these areas which will start always also oxidation rust. So you not only spray the contacts, you take care of this bracket. You can see it there. I cleaned underneath this filler cap there was that yellow milkshake it was there 
The engine is fine, it doesn't have a blown head gasket, but I cleaned it anyway. You can see as I mark these coils, right, seven, five, three, one, this valve cover gasket, it also replaced tube seals, everything, the grommets, everything is beautiful, new right here. You can see it, new grommet underneath the bolts. I still have to put back this clamp and the beauty cover which is there saying it's a V8 engine. What else you will say might affect or decrease your miles per gallon? Well, don't forget, it's winter. So look at these tires, huh? I observed this winter. Definitely change in the tire pressures. As the weather outside is nasty and cold, the tire pressure goes down and what I observed here between the summer when here is normally 70 Fahrenheit now it's through the days barely 40 it's very cold unusual winter I observe drop in the pressures between 2 and 4 psi so it's one of my jobs before the car will be leaving I will be going for a test drive I always have to check the tire pressures so that also will negatively affect your miles per gallon if the pressure is too low there is too much resistance from the tires and you are not driving so economically like if the tire pressure is correct the last I will fill this windshield wiper reservoir I check the coolant it's good Everything seems to be fine, so I will be just finishing with this vehicle. It needs to be ready outside in 20 minutes. So I think that's enough for this video. And if you have different ideas how to increase economical driving with such a thirsty tank like Sequoia is, if you know or you have idea about other things, please share it in the comments underneath the video. This is the community of Toyota enthusiasts. We are learning from each other, reading the comments, suggestions underneath the video. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumb up. Thank you for supporting this channel and being part of this community. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.